right, today we're going to talk about discards in C Sharp. So, Myra, discards are those little underscores that I see floating there instead of variable names, right? What are those? Why do we have them? Yeah, so in C Sharp 7.0, uh, we introduced discards, which are these temporary dummy variables. They are write-only, so you cannot read from them. Um, and they are useful when you don't care about the value of a variable. Right. So instead of me like making up different variable names and going A, B, C, D and never actually calling those, I could just use a discard? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And so that helps with like saving memory allocations because you're not having to save and use those, all of those variables that you don't care about their value. Wow. Okay. And I think there's particular situations that these would be useful. Let's hop into some of your examples. Um, so one, one particular scenario where uh, discards are useful is with tuples. Um, so here you have a method that returns a tuple and it has string double in, in, in. So, but when you're working with that data, you don't care about all of them. You just want to see the population. So you can, instead of having to declare a variable for each, you just use discards here to say the ones that you don't care about, you just discard them. Um, another example where it's useful to have discards is without variables. Uh, so here um, I'm declaring uh, the result uh, in the out parameter, but I don't need that if I'm not gonna use it, if I'm just I just care about the result of try parse. I can just use discard instead. Nice. So if I wanted to learn more about discards, where should I go? So the C Sharp guide has a very complete guide about discards on docs.microsoft.com. Uh, it goes over the scenarios uh, that you can use between tuple and pattern matching. Also the standalone discard that I didn't show here. Um, and there are lots of examples and more information. Great. Okay, so we should use discards when we have temporary dummy variables that we don't need, especially in cases of uh, tuples, making them easier to write, as well as out variables. Thanks for watching.